If you challenge somebody to break a paper clip in two, snap it in two as quickly as possible, they're probably going to realize they don't have a shot doing it this way. Like that. They're probably going to realize their only shot is going to be to snap one division of it, sort of like that. But here's the thing. 99% of people are going to attempt to do this and sort of bend it back and forth, and this will eventually work. Uh, you're putting fatigue on the metal, and eventually it's going to break through. However, it takes a lot longer than two seconds. I'm not sure how long it'll take, but eventually I can feel it softening. There we go. I think I just got it. Bingo. Uh, so eventually that will work. But what they won't anticipate is using the trick I've come up with. Take a standard ungimmicked real paper clip. Have them on a stopwatch since the act of grabbing, starting, stopping takes time and we're doing something that only takes two seconds long. I'm just going to have my stopwatch uh, running cumulatively so you can sort of see exactly when I start. You're allowed to hold it. You don't have to pick it up. And we're going to start in two seconds. Here we go. Here's the physics of how this works, at least I think. Uh, most people, when they attempt to bend the bar back and forth like this, imagine my five fingertips are molecules of the metal, the steel, and they're bound next to other molecules in this long pipe. What happens is when you bend the wire back and forth the standard way they would do, uh, these bonds can take a little bit of motion, a little bit of torquing and bending. Uh, and that's why they fail, is because it's steel. It's very strong stuff. You can even bend it pretty sharply, and it, it still works. However, those molecules cannot do this. What happens is you snap each of these five connections, each of those bonds uh, between those molecules, and that's what happens when you do this rotation quickly. If you do the rotation slowly, and you don't reinforce the two sides because you're not choking up and uh, ch like choking up on a bat and holding it up higher than normal. Uh, what happens is the the wire sort of bends into two arcs. You see how you have an arc there and you have an arc there, and that's because it doesn't want to rotate at, at those points, uh, but you force it to uh, by holding it very close to the to the ends. So we've done this on uh, paper clips. Wonder what else it'll work on. Do you think it'll work on this paper clip? Four point seven four millimeters thick. The uh, Sharpie pen and the ballpoint pen are for size perspective, as is my iPhone. As before, safety first, as the crazy Russian hacker says, and we're going to go at 15 seconds. It 
Didn't work. <laughs> Interesting. Well, it was worth a try. Looks like it just wants to corkscrew. Could be that it's because this is copper, not steel. I suppose it's more malleable. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any thick steel on hand. You could try maybe a coat hanger. If any of you want to film trying to do a coat hanger, please do. Uh, but wear safety gloves and goggles, please. I don't want anyone to get hurt.